Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, this is your weekly general reading. This is going to be for October 26th through the 1st of November 2020. Now, Capricorn, please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Remember to always take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else, all right? All right, Capricorn, let's see what energies and messages we have coming through here for you this week. Thank you, Spirit. Well, we have endurance. Keep your eye on the ball. All right. Uh, some of you Capricorns could have Scorpio in your charts, or you could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. Scorpio just received the same energy. There's a lot of cards here, you guys, so... I, I don't believe in coincidences, so this may mean something, you know, uh, that's more significant, okay, to some of you, all right? Especially if you have Scorpio in your charts or dealing with a Scorpio. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Spirit. What does Capricorn need to know this week, October 26th through the 1st of November 2020? Thank you, Spirit. Capricorn. All right, we are ready. Situation. Nice. You've got the Empress. In your foundation, you have the King of Cups. What's benefiting you this week is Lady Justice. All right, crowning you is the Page of Cups. And your outcome energy is the Four of Coins. Okay. Very nice. All right, Capricorn, you've got the master number 11 coming through here. I always tell you guys, go and Google the angel number meaning because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation, okay? All right, let's start here. <laughs> so we have endurance. Keep your eye on the ball. All right? You know, I, I feel like there's a need to stay focused this week. Those of you that you know, have a project that you're, you know, you've got to get it done by a certain date or time. Uh, for those of you that, you know, have a goal that you're going after, okay, that needs to be met, you know, by a certain time, it's going to be important not to get distracted, okay, and stay focused. I feel like right here, with this coming up here, as long as you stay focused and you keep your eye on the ball, keep your eye on the prize, you're going to make your mark, okay? That's exactly what I'm getting. So, you know, you definitely are persevering. And I see wonderful things coming in here this week. You've got good karma here. The, those of you that are waiting on money or um, any type of legal situation where money is owed to you, get ready to uh, go to the bank, okay? <laughs> get ready to go to the bank. And you got the bank right here. I always associate the four of coins with the bank. <laughs> You've got a material harvest coming in here this week, Capricorn, okay? I love it. Don't get sidetracked. Don't get sidetracked, all right? Now, you've got the Empress coming up here. And this is a powerful energy. Definitely talking about material gain, material harvest. What you have put in is coming back threefold, okay? What you've been nurturing and taking care of. Some of you, this is an idea, a creative vision that you are birthing life into, okay? You're, you're bringing your vision into your reality, okay? And there's a promise of growth and expansion to come from it. Now, I do see a little baby, all right? Um, some of you may uh, be finding out that you are pregnant, all right? If that message is for you, congratulations. Congratulations, okay? This is a very grounded energy right here. And, you know, you guys have been working so hard, Capricorn. You know, I I'm always... You know, telling you guys, uh, all work and no play is, is usually what comes through for Capricorn a lot. And I can see where you guys have um, 
you, you balance that. Uh, maybe not in complete balance, but you have tended to yourself. You've you've showed yourself a little bit of TLC, okay? And you know, and that's needed. It, it is. And I see where you have, you know, done that for yourself, and that's important. That is you showing, okay, the universe, sending out that vibe, that frequency, that energy that you love yourself. And when you have that type of vibe and frequency, guess what? You get that right back, coming right back to you, that same, that same vibe. And that's when blessings happen. That's when unexpected, you know, gifts you know, pop up, and it's where miracles happen, all right? And I'm telling you, you guys, you've got some amazing stuff taking place this week, okay? Very magical, very magical. All right, so you have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy right here in your foundation. Whether you're male or female, this is what's driving you. This is you being comfortable in your own skin. This is you having control over your emotions. This is you having so much inner strength, wisdom, and knowledge, Capricorn. And you are so supportive. You are so generous. You share that knowledge with others. You help people along their paths, their journeys as well. Some of you may be, uh, you know, getting into alignment here with your life's mission, your purpose. Maybe you've realized, hey, I, I'm meant to be a spiritual leader or teacher uh, or maybe a spiritual mentor, okay? Maybe a Reiki healer. I see a lot of crystals. <laughs> I love it. People come to you because you don't judge them. You, you listen to them. That You know, they, they want your opinion because they have a lot of respect for you, Capricorn, okay? And they know that you're going to be honest with them. But at the same time, you know how to be honest without without it coming off offending anyone, okay? And that's what makes it so powerful. You know, this is a leader energy. You know, this is that energy of, you know, I've got my own business or, you know, I have a, a leadership role with a career that I have. You know, it's powerful. All right, so you've got Lady Justice, the energy of Libra coming up here. This is in the position of what's benefiting you this week. I'm telling you, any of you that are dealing with contracts, any type of legal agreement or situation that has to do with money, get ready because the uh, compromises and agreements are being made and justice is in your favor, Capricorn, okay? Uh, you're going to get what's owed, what's due to you. Now, for some of you, this is definitely clarity. Okay, maybe clarity on this goal or this vision or what it is that you are going after. Okay, what you're keeping your eye on right here. Now you have the clarity that you need to move forward. This talks about nothing is hidden from you at this time. All right, you can see clearly your third eye is open, your crown chakra is open. And most importantly, all the good karma you have sent out into the universe, the universe is blessing it all right back to you, Capricorn. Especially with this right here being in the position, okay, of what's benefiting you this week. So that's amazing. All right. So we have Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This is what you're thinking about. This is a new beginning, okay? This is a new beginning, and it's, you know, I feel like you're coming from a, a, a little kids, you know, when they get excited over their dreams or, uh, you know, things that are mystical and magical, their, their, their fantasies and stuff. Because children really believe wholeheartedly in their visions and their dreams, right? And this is, I feel like, you having that childlike faith um, and being excited and being happy because you have a fresh start here. For some of you, okay? And it's just the beginning, and don't forget that. There's a lot to, that's going to come from this. Maybe some of you have been in a career or a business for many, many years, okay? And you've decided, wait a minute, I'm going to go and do something else. And you're getting into that role of, like I said, being a healer, a spiritual teacher, mentor, leader, okay? Uh, maybe it's starting a YouTube channel or getting on a platform. Do it. Do it. It's time, okay? You're being called. And this is you being so excited. You know, you, you're you actually excited. That passion has been reignited 
okay, for you to go after something that you truly enjoy doing, okay? Now, for a few of you, if you're open and ready for it, there could be an opportunity for a new romance or new love as well. Now, this also tells me it's going to be very important for you guys to pay attention to your intuition, okay? Go with the flow. You know, allow that life force energy that is running within you and through you to pull you in the direction that you need to go, okay? And as long as you do that, Capricorn, there is, you know, there is no wrong direction. There is no wrong path, right? All right, so we've got the four of coins right here, okay? For some of you, this could definitely be you maybe signing a contract. Maybe you're buying your home. Maybe you're paying off a mortgage, this could also uh, be you starting a business from home as well. This is you laying a solid, unshakable foundation, okay? And this is you building up your financial empire. I see you taking money to the bank, okay, with this material harvest that's coming in here with the Empress, all right? Money is going to be coming in here. If you'll notice, this is a three, and then this is the four. What, what this harvest is that's coming in right here, it's threefold, Capricorn three fold all right it could be from you know a lawsuit it could be from an inheritance probate anything like that okay it's coming now it definitely could be that you are stepping into a new role with the career that you already have maybe a leadership role and you're gonna be making a lot more money okay all right, Capricorn, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart, you guys. Keep your eye on the ball, keep your eye on the prize, and make your mark because you will. <laughs> all right? All right, you guys, please leave me a comment, and I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Capricorn.